For this TA tech tip, we're going to be cleaning the reaction vessel and the glass vessel for the precision solution calorimeter. And so I have the solution calorimeter disconnected from the accessory box, but it's not needed. Uh, and you definitely want to try and prevent removing the glass vessel from the solution calorimeter during cleaning. So what you do is you first remove the stirring mechanism by loosening the little lock screw, lifting it straight out of the solution calorimeter. Take it over to the ring stand holder. And then you can remove your glass ampule from the experiment. And then we can rinse off the stir with uh, water, maybe followed by acetone, uh, to rinse off the stir. And we'll dab dry. And then maybe follow up now with some acetone to, uh, to dry the stir. You want to make sure that no glass fragments uh, remain on the stir for your next experiment. And you definitely want to make sure that the stir is completely dry before your next experiment. So now that the stir is clean, we have to go to the vessel and clean the vessel. And what we use is a, uh, a vacuum line connected to a vacuum flask with the silicone rubber tubing that was provided with your solution calorimeter. So I'll turn on my pump. And you'll have little glass fragments down on the end of your solution calorimeter vessel. And so what you want to do is you just want to make sure to take out the majority of the solution and kind of fish around the silicone rubber tube and you'll see that at the end of the tube you'll lose some suction because I have little glass pieces on the end and so these glass pieces are very sharp and very thin so you may want to use a little tweezers to save these little glass pieces and maybe pinch off the vacuum tube so that they'll just fall off the end and so we'll continue to take out the rest of the solution and hopefully fish out the rest of the glass pieces as you get down to the bottom of the solution. You may tilt it to get the solution to go to one side. And I think I have the majority of the pieces here, but we'll just clean them off the end here. And then we have a, with the funnel provided, you can put that down into the vessel and you can rinse a couple times with water just to make sure that we can clean out the vessel and rinse out any of the solvents that you have in place. And so you can swirl it around a little, you can fill it up with more water, and then make sure to vacuum the solution out and make sure that you have all the glass pieces. And I have one more little glass piece right here, I think I got it. And before the next experiment, you want to make sure that the vessel is dry. So we'll use this same funnel and use a little acetone, maybe one time or two times. You see the acetone goes along the sides. If, it, uh, if you can't get the acetone to run along the sides, we may need to, uh, to take the solution calorimeter out of the, uh, the ring stand and kind of swirl around the acetone, making sure not to go up past the neck of the glass because it's a Viton O-ring and it will swell with acetone, but if you uh, you rinse the, rinse the glass, make sure it's clean. And then make sure to extract the rest of the solution with the vacuum. And since I have some droplets in there, I'd probably have to do this one or two more times to make sure the vessel is completely dry. But then you can leave the vacuum run for maybe 30 seconds to a minute to make sure that the, uh, the vessel is completely dry before you're ready to load for the next experiment.